going on YouTube um, Brad here back uh, we finally have our new beds built so super excited uh, we're gonna fill them up today uh, and hopefully get some stuff in the ground it's supposed to rain in the next day or so so hopefully it'll be perfect timing as we get in the spring here uh, we're gonna start planting some pole beans cucumbers eggplant and some melons so here are what the beds look like these are about four and a half feet wide eight feet long and they're filled with a bunch of uh, branches and brush that um, i've collected through the tree trimming and stuff so got those built and here is all the dirt we've got about 80 bags of dirt here um, i just i went with the cheap soil and compost stuff for now we're going to enrich it uh, as time goes on. That's going to get it about this full. It's a little bit over halfway. Um, we didn't quite use near as many bags on these beds. Um, but these beds had a lot of organic material underneath. And as you can see, this was maybe two weeks ago. and Or eh, more like three, but still, stuff is coming up like crazy for the most part. And this one I'm a little bit worried about but it will it'll happen i'm confident so that is uh kind of uh, about how full we're hoping to get them and uh, as this organic material provides a layer at the bottom and as it breaks down um, the good thing about that is you know of course it'll break down and provide all the healthy nutrients and uh, nitrogen and all that good stuff um, so um, here as years go by, it'll get better and better. Okay, so that's a lot of work. Um, oh, I've lost count. I think it was 60... No, 40 bags of topsoil, 30 compost, and then um, the other good stuff. And I'm gonna clean it up a bit. But yeah, as you can see, these beds are about 24 inches tall. Um, and, you know, I would say probably um, almost half was filled with organic material. And so, I didn't have to put down, you know, um, as much dirt as it would have been if it was um, completely empty. You know, that would definitely be a lot of dirt. So, uh, but anyway, we're hoping to get our cow panel trellis up, thanks to uh, Roots and Refuge uh, for that idea. I've got some t posts behind me. I'm gonna have to put those in. I'll do a video putting up the trellis so you can see how that's done. But my wife really uh, wanted one and. I think it's pretty cool myself um, and so we'll have like noodle beans uh, going over the trellis so it'll be cool cool little walkway isn't that right So there you have it. Um, we have our arch installed. Uh, Laura wanted to paint the T-post purple. And uh, so those are in. And there are some zip ties um, holding that arch in place. So it doesn't wobble too much. But uh, this is going to look pretty cool once we get everything planted and things start sprouting. And we get the beans going over and maybe some gourds, you know, who knows. Uh, but I'm excited to see the end result there. So. Hope you enjoyed watching that and try not to make the same mistake I did. Um, I put the sideboards on the sides of the planter uh, for support so you can sit there and lean into the bed because the bed's a little bit wider. It's a little, like four and a half feet wide. And so um, leaning over, you're gonna need quite a reach. Um, so I put those boards on there so uh, we could sit on it and lean into it or you know put your knee on it. Um, but I forgot the uh, cattle panel was pretty much just as wide as the bed So I had to cut those notches uh, that you might see in order to accommodate uh, the cattle panel So 
just a heads up make sure to factor that in if you're gonna put anything like that on there but yeah um, may, can't wait to see what this arch is gonna look like after everything uh, grows so uh, thanks for watching and hope it was informative and uh, until next time